Hi guys, the local crazy foreskin lady here. Um, I've been promising you guys a video about my protest. I am having a god awful day with <clears throat> with my allergies, so we'll see how this goes. But um, all right, I protested in Clinton, Iowa, on July fourth, two thousand sixteen. It was a Monday, and. I wore my fuck circumcision shirt, which apparently has caused a lot of controversy, and I brought a sign that said, not your penis, not your decision. I debated on bringing something more peaceful or more brutal, and I, I decided to settle on that. That's pretty, that's pretty <clears throat> tame, but gets the point across. Well, so I thought anyway. Um... On the most part, it was a very eventful and pleasant experience. Um, <clears throat> sadly, a lot of people did not know what my sign meant, what it was about. But it was a conversation starter. A lot of people came up and they're like, oh, what's what's your sign about? And I would tell them it's, it's about, you know, genital mutilation, uh, infant circumcision. And I uh, had the opportunity to hand out a lot of cards and pamphlets, you know, and people, a lot of people were very, very receptive and curious. <clears throat> At one point, uh, I ran into a mother who said that she was, uh, a regret mother. Uh, she had had her son circumcised and they didn't <clears throat> even, <coughs> God, I'm having a bad day. Anyway, uh, they hadn't even really said anything to her about it, and she was young when she had him, and even with not knowing a lot of the things that intactivists would, because we've done a lot of research, even just kind of, you know, just going through the experience, she, she knew that she would never do that to another son. She knew that that had to be wrong. And, you know, we talked for a good bit. Uh, she wanted to know more. And she, you know, just expressed her regret and her upset of it, about it. And it was just, it was a really heartfelt, um, good conversation. Uh, my heart broke for her, you know. Um, and <clears throat> so, you know, I, I went about my way with my sign. And mo a lot of uh, family men and women were, you know, coming up and asking questions and all that stuff, and, um, my friend that was with me wanted to go check out the concession stand, so we walked down past the stadium, and, uh, a few groups of teenagers want, hold on a minute, sorry, my, my daughter wanted to say something to me, <laughs> anyway, um, a few groups of teenagers actually approached asking questions and there was some nervous laughter and and whatever but you know they seemed genuinely curious they you know uh, they wanted cards so I gave them some you know and then I felt a little weird you know handing teenagers oh, cards yeah. through the fence like a creeper but you know who, who am I to deny them the truth to deny them information. You know, they were curious. I'm not going to deny them, you know, the information. And, uh, that was pretty, that was pretty mm. neat. Uh, one moment, baby wants to nurse. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Say hi. Say hi, guys. I'm going to have some boober. <laughs> You're such a sweet girl. Anyway, um... Apparently there were a few parents angry about that, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, so we ended up heading back up to our main, you know, area that we were protesting. We were walking up and down the street, by the way, not just standing in one place. And uh, at the uh, casino boat or whatever, uh, a bunch of people were coming out and they were curious so I turned and I, I allowed a long line of people to read the sign as they were coming out and <clears throat> this guy out of nowhere he looked to be in maybe his early 40s um, he turned around and he got angry and he uh, he ended up charging up to me with his fist balled um, shouting 
incoherently about respect and maturity as he was charging a, a, a small woman and yelling and getting crazy. And it, he didn't even see my shirt. He just saw the sign. And oh my goodness. And, and <laughs> he was using his daughter or granddaughter as a scapegoat for his own discomfort. That was... Wow, you know, what baby? What's up, huh? Mommy's making a video, okay? Yeah, Mama's making a video. Cutie patootie. Anyway, but um he was he was like basically saying I should protest where there aren't children and whatever and the little girl, she didn't even care. She just like got in the vehicle like nothing. She wasn't bothered by anything I was doing. He was. <laughs> and that's generally the case, is the adults are the ones upset, not the children. The children aren't traumatized. The children aren't upset. The children are not scarred for life. Okay, they just, oh, that's interesting, and then they move on. Because, you know, that's kids for ya. <laughs> but the adults, on the other hand, get a little crazy sometimes. And, uh, he was, he was looking like he was getting ready to swing, let me tell ya. But I also had a six foot six, two hundred fifty pound badass right next to me, so I think he thought twice about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, so after that, uh, just like literally like a minute or two after that, the police did approach me because they got calls. They got a call from down at the stadium saying that you know there was this crazy lady handing out some crazy material to little kids and like I don't even know what exactly what was said but you know that's basically the gist of what he was you know getting at and um he asked me what I was doing so I was very pleasant and I told him oh I'm just having a peaceful protest about infant circumcision you know, and he asked me, he's like, are you handing things out to people? And, and I was, I was like, yeah, I am. Uh, he's like, can I take a look at your material? So I, you know, I handed him some material and I was like, oh, you can, you can keep it if you want to, you know, cause hell, one more person. Right. <laughs> and, uh, he looked it over and said it was fine as long as I wasn't harassing anybody or hurting anybody. <clears throat> and basically he left it off with a, have a nice day. And I was like, you too. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I was really actually expecting um, him to, uh, you know, be, be a little more pissy about it, I guess. I guess I'm used to Morris and cops. Um, crazy girl. Anyway, um, and... I was, I was kind of waiting for a, well, this is a family event, and you're disturbing people, so you need to leave. In which case, I would have tried to fight my right to do what I'm doing. But no, it was a very pleasant encounter, and that was, it was just a pleasant surprise, you know? Um, the rest of the way, I didn't really meet any resistance other than, you know, a few comments. Uh, I ran into a group of uh, maybe college students. They were, they were not quite teenagers but not quite like adult adults yet <laughs> so college students yeah anyway um and they asked me what it was about one guy thought it was about incest or something which is kind of odd that's an odd thing to get out of my sign there but um whatever you know and they were like so receptive it was amazing that they, they were just like yeah yeah that's messed up and you know, all this stuff, and they took as much material as they could, and, you know, they were so open-minded and so willing to fight to change the world for the better, and it was just amazing. I thought that was so freaking cool, you know. Um, the rest of the walk was uneventful, I think, um, other than a pregnant lady being, you know, curious, and her mother or mother-in-law being like, oh, you're having a girl, you don't need that stuff, I don't know. But the mother grabbed a pamphlet, so, I don't know, right? Um, but yeah, uh, then we, we went and we, we picked our spot, and, because I, I had left the kids with dad, um, to play at the little park up there, because, you know, being in a crowd of people, you don't really know 
what's going to happen. I mean, that man charging me and getting crazy, that was proof enough that it's probably not a good idea to have my children in close proximity of people when I am, you know, <clears throat> bringing up such a touchy subject. Um, so yeah, I left them with dad. I, I we <clears throat> went back down to the park and got them. We picked our spot and, um, you know, we basically just had a good day after that. We sat and we had some snacks and did a crap ton of sparklers. We actually found uh, sparklers at the Dollar Tree. We got 75 sparklers for five bucks. That's cool. <laughs> anyway, and then, you know, Clinton actually had a pretty good fireworks show. Uh, last time I was there, it really was really bad. So, you know, I was glad to see they upped their game and... We had a great night, and we went home. Um, I made a post about it the next day, uh, and if you look at <clears throat> the few videos before this, you'll hear a little bit about it, but people basically went ape shit because I, the, my shirt said the word fuck. It was insane, but whatever. <laughs> if you're curious about that, check out the two videos before this. I don't know. Uh, or check out my Facebook page, The Local Crazy Foreskin Lady, or message me, or whatever, and, you know, I'll share a little bit more about that experience if you're curious. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, overall, that was a very effective and productive and eventful protest. You know, it was, it was a good day. It was a good day. <clears throat> and, uh, despite people's butt hurt, that little four-letter word... Well, it got their attention. Mission accomplished. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> um, I will keep you updated on all my other protests and whatever else. No, no, baby. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.